Hey, it's Anna here. Welcome to today's baby sleep tip. This one I'm going to break into three parts for you. I really feel passionately about this one because it really comes down to some core issues with sleep. So why does my baby cry as soon as I instantly put them in the crib? Why? What's going on? Oh, no one wants to see their baby cry. Sure, it's the way they're communicating. However, the least amount we can do and the more we can comfort and make things so that we're communicating clearly, the better. So let's chat about why your baby is crying instantly when you put them in the crib. The first thing is, is if a baby is drowsy when they go into the crib, drowsiness is actually the first level of sleep. So what is happening is that they're already in that stage of sleep. And in drowsiness, they can still have their eyes open. Their eyes do not need to be closed. It may look like zoning out. It may look like they're kind of away with the fairies. However, if they are drowsy before you put them in the crib, what is happening for them is that they consider themselves already asleep. Wherever they are, so say we're rocking baby. If we're rocking baby, they consider your arms their bed. This is where they're going, okay, this is where I'm going to sleep. And so that's going to be where they want to sleep. And so when you put them down, they're like, uh, what? Excuse me, I was asleep, put me up, pick me up, put me back in my bed. And not only that, they've had this little micro nap, which is like kind of a 30 second to five minute little nap where they don't have the buildup of the sleep pressure anymore. The solution to this is putting your baby in the, in the crib wide awake, into their sleep space wide awake. If your baby needs something external to help them fall asleep, so say they don't know how to fall asleep without rocking, that's kind of, that's a bigger picture conversation. And that's what we do in Sleep Sleep Baby and Nurturing Newborns Out courses. So then the second reason that we're going to cover today is another reason why babies can cry instantly when they go in the crib. So the first one is that they may be drowsy. So they're considering themselves already asleep and they're getting really annoyed and frustrated that you've woken them up and put them in another place because they were already in their bed. The second thing is, is we have a little baby here. If you lower your baby into the crib like this horizontally, what is actually going to happen is baby's arms might go out like this. Woo! That is the Mora reflex. The Mora reflex is the sensation of baby falling. And so when you put baby in horizontally, they can feel like they're falling and that can really stir them up and they don't like it. So let's put baby into the crib strategically, helping them learn to get in and out of the crib and stand up and all those developmental good things. This helps development. So just bent baby's legs there. We're going to put baby in. Say we're giving baby last little cuddle night night. Yes, you're fully awake. We're going to put baby in. Feet, bum, back. This allows baby to feel that gravity on their feet. They see where they're going. We're always turning the light off after we put baby in the crib, putting their bum back so they're feeling that grounding, and then we're laying them back. This allows them to feel that process. Plus, one of the first skills we're going to have them roll over, obviously, in development is learning that sitting up. So we're actually learning a skill while we do this. The third reason your baby might be crying instantly when they go into the crib is that they're overtired. Babies who are overtired, they have cortisol, our fight, flight, and freeze hormone just pumping through their brain. It's kind of like if you had road rage and someone with you were like, I have road rage and I just need someone to help me calm down. And people are like, no, go to sleep, go to bed. It's really hard. And so their ability to regulate is kind of out the window when they're overtired. So if they're really overtired, that means that they are struggling to initiate those skills that they have themselves or to feel that sleep because they have this wave of cortisol. The best thing we can do in that scenario is acknowledge that we have an overtired baby. They're going to need a little bit more help. However, tomorrow we're going to shorten up those away times. So the length of time between naps, we're going to shorten those up to make the day go smoother and make bedtime smoother as well. I hope this has been helpful. We're doing daily tips here. So make sure that you subscribe to get your daily baby sleep tips. Have people in your life been telling you, you'll never sleep again? 
Are you starting to stress about how life is going to change with a baby or adding an additional baby? I've been there. And mama, it's time to cheers your new best friend, Little Wink Sleep. Our nurturing newborns program gently and gradually lays the foundation for sleep in a way that you're able to manage and understand. We use a science-based approach that fosters healthy attachment. You'll be able to let go of the stress of newborn sleep and enjoy this stage knowing your baby is set up with the right skills. Nurturing newborn sleep includes all our insider coaching strategies, taking you step by step, troubleshooting along the way, as well as